The last structural pattern that we would be talking about is the flyweight pattern. There are instances where creating objects might be very difficult and also there would be instances where actually having multiple instances of objects also might make it really difficult because each of these objects might have a lot of memory. What we would be creating in the flyweight pattern is a fine grained instance for efficient sharing. A really good example would be a public switched telephone network. In a public switched telephone network there would be limited number of lines. So let's say there are 10 lines but there would be thousands of customers who would be using them. Because not all the thousand customers would be calling at the same time you would be able to try and switch between these 10 lines and efficiently manage the network. A real good examples of flyweight patterns are JDBC connections. In the JEE world we have a lot of connection pools on the application servers. A connection pools is nothing but a set of connections to the database. From the application we fire in a lot of queries but we don't create a connection every time a new query comes in. What we do is we have a pool of connections already available. Let's say we have a pool of 20 connections already available. So as soon as a query comes in we match it to a connection and then the query gets fired. And once the query completes execution the connection gets released. So we have a pool of connections and this pool of connections will be used to execute the queries. This would help us in avoiding the cost in creating the connection and closing the connection to the database every time. So we would kind of have a shared pool of connections. That's a very good example of the flyweight pattern. So basically flyweight pattern is all about creating instances for efficient sharing. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.